Here is the model we will use to show how to model and generate Odessar compliant code and export component description XML files using Simlink and Embedded Coder. Note that it has multiple runnables for speed and odometer calculations. The runnables are modeled using function call subsystems. The function filter input checks error status for odometer pulse and other input uses a running average filter to calculate average vehicle speed. This speed is then output to a sender P port and also passed as an interrunnable variable to the overspeed diagnostic runnable, which determines if overspeed or another error has occurred. As shown here, it is an on demand server runnable that is invoked as a service from the client port of another component or the ECU's basic software when response data is requested. Update odometer runnable increments the odometer to report total distance traveled based on the encoder pulse. The filter input and update odometer runnables are periodic tasks that execute based upon their own timing event at a specific interval. They can be called periodically by a scheduler when integrated with the ECU software. The function store odometer before sleep is intended to be called directly before the microcontroller goes to sleep or is placed into a power off mode. When the subsystem is triggered, the value of the accumulated odometer will be stored into NVRAM. So now I will explain how our model maps to an Odessar architecture. Look at this image. The filter input and update odometer runnable subsystems in Simulink map to the vehicle speed and odometer software components in this diagram. And when we generate code from them using embedded coder, it can then be integrated with the rest of the ECU software. The diagnostic and NVRAM services can be simulated to test their application software functionalities such as the storing of odometer data before sleep by using Simulink effectively as their runtime environment. Now we will see how the Autosar model is configured in the Autosar properties. In the Simulink Autosar Mapping Explorer, the Autosar inputs, outputs, entry point functions, and data transfers are configured. In the Autosar Properties Explorer, under the Application Software Component section, the receiver ports, sender ports, mode receiver ports are configured. Here, the NVRAM service is configured as client ports and the diagnostic and NVM interfaces are configured as server ports. Here, the filter input and update odometer or periodic runnables is configured as timing event. Overspeed diagnostic is a on-demand server runnable which is configured as an option invoked event and store odometer before sleep is a mode based runnable is configured as mode switch event. Here the sender receiver interfaces are configured with the data elements and client server interfaces are configured with the function operations. The XML options allow to configure where the information is going for different packages. Now I shall choose the Autosa schema versions as shown here. Here are the supported Autosar schema versions. By default, we support 4.0. Let me choose 4.1 for this model. At last, it is time for me to generate the Autosar compliant code by clicking Ctrl B. In a few seconds, the code will be generated. In the generated code, you can see the runnable functions. In the overspeed diagnostic function, there is a call to a service to set a diagnostic error status. And in the store odometer function, there is a call to a NVRAM service to store the odometer value. 
At the bottom, you can see the initialization functions for each runnable. Here are the XML description files that can be used for further processing by the rest of your Autosar toolchain.